anyone who has never made a mistake has never tried anything new. Our lesson is about Introduction to Statistics. What is statistics? Statistics can be defined the collection and interpretation of data. All around the world, we use statistics. We measure and analyze variability. Variability. Humans have different height, weight, hair color, and food preference. These are variable because they can change in each individual. One of the examples of statistics is the 2016 presidential election. As you can see, the highest vote is Duterte, that is 39%. Next is Rojas, that is 23%. Next is Po, 21%, and the fourth, B9, 13%, and then the last one, Defensor Santiago, that is 3%. Another example of statistics is the leading cases of coronavirus by province or city in the Philippines. As you can see, this is the number of cases in thousands as of April 2021. The highest leading cases of coronavirus is Quezon City, that is 88,620. Next is Manila, 59,280. Next is Cavite, that is 54,450. Next is Rizal, that is 44,080. And then Laguna, 40,590. There are two kinds of statistics. First, that is inferential statistics. Second, that is descriptive statistics. What is inferential statistics? It deals with taking sample, analyzing the sample, and make judgments and claims about population. The concern of inferential statistics is drawing conclusions like decisions, predictions, or generalizations about data set. How about descriptive statistics? It refers to getting data. The concern of descriptive statistics is collecting, organizing, and presenting data appropriately. So as you can see, the example of descriptive statistics, that is the average grade, is 89.56. They are using descriptive statistics. They made use of histogram and graphs. So let us define what is populations. It refers to the total amount of things. When we say things, it's not only people, but group of dogs, cats, and so on. What is a sample? Sample refers to a small part of the population that is used for study. The total amount of things in a sample, that is a sample size. In statistics, what we examine is the variable, what we are studying, that is measurable, countable, and categorized. When we talk about people, they are different in height, hair color, and weight. There are all variables. Variable represents characteristics. What we study, it varies in each individual. If we measure variable, we have the two types. First, that is categorical data. Second, that is quantitative data. What is quantitative data? Data that is measured in numbers, it deals with numbers that make sense 
to perform arithmetic calculations. Example of the quantitative variables are the height, the weight, and the average grade. How about the categorical data? It refers to the values that place things into different groups or categories. Example of the categorical variables are hair color, type of cut, and academic excellence award. There are two types of categorical variables. First, that is ordinal. Second, that is nominal. Ordinal, it refers to logical ordering to the values of a categorical. Example of ordinal, that is the academic excellence award. As you can see, we arrange the ranking of students by highest to lowest. So it means with highest honors, with high honors, and with honors. We also arrange to lowest to highest. So it means with honors, with high honors, with highest honors. As you can see, in ordinal, logical ordering is important. How about nominal? Nominal, it refers to no logical ordering to the values of a categorical variable. So, example of the nominal, that is the hair color. We may arrange the hair color by alphabetical, blonde, blue, brown, and red. But then, no sense of ordering because no logical ordering of the values. How about quantitative variables? There are two types of quantitative variables. First, that is discrete. Second, that is continuous. Discrete refer to variables that can only be measured in certain numbers. Example of discrete, that is the number of pets you own. Maybe you have 0, 1, 2, 5. But not 7.7 .7 pets, that is not possible. How about the continuous? Continuous refer to variables that can take on any numerical value. So example, that could be the weight. Weight, that is 105 pounds, 128 pounds, or 140.69 pounds. Any decimal places or any numerical value. So let us recap what you have learned about the introduction to statistics. Population refers to total number of things. Sample is a small part of the population. The sample size, that is the total amount of things in a sample. What are we measure in each individual is a variable. There are two types of variable, that is quantitative variable and categorical variable. An example, if that is average grade. The quantitative, that is the average grades of students, that is 90%, 73%, and 75%. In categorical variable, the category based on field or pass. So as you can see, that is the categorical data. We have one field and then two pass. Instruction, identify if the variable is quantitative or categorical. Provide your answers in the comment section. Enjoy learning mathematics. I'm Teresa Tubal. Thank you so much.